Montelago Village lies on the edge of Mindoro's Lake Nohan. It is connected to the island's power grid, but just barely. Community leader Felix Gita says stable electricity is a problem here. This is a remote village. We have power lines coming here, but if there's a storm, the power goes out. Blackouts are common here. For Montalago's 1,900 residents, the solution to their energy needs could literally be right below them. In the surrounding volcano-formed hills, engineers are in the early stages of harnessing Mindoro's underground heat. Fidel Correa of the firm Emerging Power says this test well will show how much energy can be produced here. We were uh, shooting for uh, 40 megawatts to supply uh, the whole of Mindoro Island with uh, electric power from geothermal energy. Emerging Power says geothermal produced energy could cut the cost of electricity in half for Mindoro's residents. In Manila and many other parts of the Philippines, an increasing number of brown and blackouts are expected during the upcoming hottest months. Symptoms of an energy crunch that continues amid a fast-growing economy. Analysts like Benjamin Diakno at the University of the Philippines School of Economics say that is because new energy infrastructure has been neglected. We need to build something like 600 megawatt every year for the next 15 years to, to meet our energy, energy requirements. Diakno says more geothermal investment can provide the Philippines and other countries above active volcanic zones with a cleaner and longer lasting energy source. Emerging powers Fidel Correa says at least for Mindoro, they still have a ways to go. We would want to know what uh, the temperatures would be down uh, at about 1,000, 1,200 meters level. And that would give us an idea of how much power we could get from this field. And at this well, that is several hundred more meters below. Jason Struther for VOA News, Mindoro.